today I'm doing a lunch routine with my brand new Reborn. And my mom got me a toddler Reborn from Pumpkin Doodle Babies and she's just so cute. She has teeth and it's my first one that has teeth and she's a toddler and she even has ears pierced. I gotta stop saying everything about her cause I do have her here. It looks like she's up from her morning nap. I better go and grab her. All right, here she is. And, whoa, she has a little bear. I'll just put that to the side because I can show um, that to you guys with everything else. Come here. Oh my gosh, she is seven pounds. I mean, it's crazy to think that, but that's the least heaviest that she could come in. Otherwise, she'd be like super heavy. And that might be a little too hard for me to carry. So my mom was making sure that she was light for me just so I wouldn't have to be like, Mom, she's so heavy. And I named her Julie and she has her ears pierced. And she has the same stud earrings that Adeline came with, although they're not Adeline's. And she has quite long hair. It goes past her shoulders, but I just have it tied up right now. And it's actually very delicate. And I also got Julie for Christmas. I was just thrilled to get her and that I adore her. She has blue eyes and her mouth is even open. I love how she has all those little teeth. It's my first one where you can actually see the teeth. She's just super cute. Oh, and I just forgot to mention that Julie is a Cami doll design. And the PJs she's wearing are actually the PJs I got for all my Reborns and I got a pair for me. Although they're not onesies cause I'm actually a little too old for the zip up onesies. Although I do have different ones. So I just got a top and bottoms. Don't they look all adorable? And I'm even matching them. And she also came with the passy and it has a little elephant. So it's just magnetic. It's in her mouth like that. It's so cute with her PJs. I can't believe it, but Pumpkin Doodle Baby sent her with so many things. So first we have her little teddy bear, and I actually brought her in with her little teddy bear. She can hold that, and it's adorable. And again, it has this super cute bow, and look at it, it's pink. It almost matches her pacifier minute, color. Minute. What was that, Julie? I hold bear, I hold bear. All right, sweetie, it is your bear. Do you want your pacifier back in? Yes, please. Oh, there. It looks like she can hold her bear. <laughs> Next we have these two cute shoes. So they're this yellow color and look at at the top, they have little heart imprints. And I love the bow on the strap. So it's just Velcro. And for her shoes, she is a six to 12 months. And these shoes came with a dress and they actually match. Here's the dress that she came with and I love it. It has little horses on it. Actually, correction, they're unicorns. So they match perfect together. So that yellow part matches this top part. It is just cutie on her. And this is the outfit that she came in with these. And the second dress that she came with is a long sleeve. And again, in the back, it's a button up. And I love on the collar how it has these pearls on the inside of the flowers. And then the dress has a bow right here in the middle. And then there's just branches with flowers. Super cute. Julie typically wears sizes 12 to 18 months and only sometimes she's 18 to 24. Otherwise she's 12 to 18 months. So these dresses are 12 to 18 months. Next we have her PJs. So these ones are adorbs. I love the clouds on them. So this is her top. And these are 18 to 24 months. So you kind of need the long sleeves to be a little bit longer. And that's why it's kind of hard to shop for her because there's a range of clothes. So these must have been a little bit smaller than the size they show. Although they're super cute because they're like little fluffy clouds. And then she has some bottoms to match. I actually put her in these PJs 
on Christmas Day because they just look so cute on her. And I'm like, why not put her in her new clothes? I mean, I just was dying to put these on her. They just look so adorable. And then all the accessories she came with. So the first accessory she came with is this cute hairbrush. And then the back is pink. I love it. And then she also has this bracelet. It is super small. Well, it looks that way, but it actually extends to the perfect size. And you can hear the little bells on it. So it's almost like a rattle bracelet. So now it's extended and that's really big. Although it's not big enough for me. It's the perfect size for her. And then we can just tighten it. And then it fits her, et voila. And then right here it says, somebody loves me. I love that part. And somebody does love her, I do. I'll put this on Julie when I get her dressed. She came with a bunch of different headbands. There's this one, so it has some flowers and then some leaves. It's very tropical. And then there's this one. It's more of a beige color bow. And it would match the one dress she came with. Same with this one. And then this one's just a plain white bow. And then I really love this one because it has polka dots that are gold with a gold star in the middle. And this star's kind of even puffy. Now she has a whole lot of bows. There's this very light and soft pink clip-on bow. We have a light blue clip-on bow. This green bow, I love how long it is for the ends. And then there's this big pink shimmery bow. And at first I saw it, I'm like, Mom, is this a JoJo Siwa bow? And my mom's like, no. And I'm like, it totally reminds me of one of the JoJo Siwa bows. And it's actually the perfect size for me. So I can wear it too. And she can also wear it herself. I mean, look at how cute that would look in the front. It almost could make her look like Minnie Mouse with the bow on the top of her head in the cartoon. We have this bright yellow clip-on bow. And this one also matches one of her dresses. It was the first dress I showed you. And it's super small. And then look at this fancy bow. This must be for a special occasion. I mean, look at all those red sequins. And finally, we have this bow. So it's white with some black polka dots. It's cutie. And I think for the outfit that she's wearing today, I'll pick these two. I'll use one to clip it onto her pony for extra style. And then I'll use one to tuck her bangs to the side. Okay, Julie, it's time to get you dressed for the day since you didn't want to put on your clothes in the morning. Okay, first things we need to decide is which underwear you want to wear and socks. Let's start with your socks because we don't have as much socks. We're definitely not going to be wearing these. So she actually did come with these socks, but they're quite thin and they're very fancy. And I don't want to ruin these for when we need them for a special occasion. Here, I'll take your passy out. All right, sweetie. Okay. Do you want these ones? They're almost like grapes, sweetie. They have some purple polka dots. No, thanks. All right, so it looks like she doesn't want to wear these cute socks. What about these? These ones actually have grapes on them, sweetie. Maybe. All right. This is why it's kind of hard to pick her clothes sometimes because she's like, maybe, no, yes, no, maybe. And she's just like all over the place. These ones are cute, sweetie. They have strawberries. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's like, those are a no. All right, last pair. These ones have strawberries all over them. Yes, yes, yes. All right, it looks like we found the pair of socks she's going to be wearing today. So I have some Peppa Pig underwear for her. Here's these ones, so this one says, Happy Little Peppa, do you want these? Nah. Yeah. Um, all right then, sweetie. Do you want these ones? They're really cute that you have her stuffy, sweetie. Uh, nah. Yeah. Okay. I'll take the ones from the bottom because they look like you'd really like them. This one says, Beauty Sleep, do you want these, sweetie? Nah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you really can't decide what you want to wear for your underwear today. Usually she's just like, yeah, I want that. Do you want getting ready for my party, sweetie? Maybe. Or it looks like that's maybe. Or this one, I'm just so happy. No, no, I don't want, I don't want. So what, what do you mean? This one? Yeah. 
All right, well, we got her panties and underwear. Now I need to fold all of these. All right, the clothes that she's gonna be wearing today are these bottoms. So these are actually brand new, and look at how cute they are. They have all these little animals on them, and they are 12 to 18 months. And then we have this, and this is not new at all, because this used to be mine when I was a toddler. So this is super cute. It should fit her. So it has these little flowers, and I was kind of going for a nature style here, because that's very naturey, and then flowers are part of nature too. So she's gonna have a very naturey look today. Yeah. Okay, let's get you up and get you dressed. And then it's lunchtime, all right, sweetie? Yay, I'm hungry. I bet you are. You'll have to do your clothes last. I need to get away your bear, okay? Okay. And actually, right now, she's already wearing some Peppa Pig underwear, so that's why she didn't have every single one. She has to be wearing something. She can't just be wearing nothing because she's still a little too young. And she is potty trained. I still need to get her a potty, but she doesn't have that many accidents anymore, although she's still potty training. So you can see that she's cloth body, although she has this top plate here. Um, so then when she's wearing shorter outfits, like a tank top, that it doesn't look like she's cloth body, that it looks like she's full. So she's not just like Adeline. Whoa, she was trying to hold herself up. She's like, no, I don't want to get out of these. They're so cozy. Come on, I need to get that foot out. There we go. Oh, Teddy fell. It's okay. And the thing I really like about her hands is one is closed and then the other one is all open. All right, we need to get these off. And I can't keep her in the same thing every day, although some days she says she wants to change herself and then she's like, mommy, I'm all changed. And then I look to see if she changed her underwear and she didn't. That's why I don't let her change herself right now, because she's tricked me sometimes. Haven't you, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> and you think that's funny, don't you? Yes. It's not the funniest for me, because you don't want to be stinky, do ya? No. I'm sure nobody wants to ever smell that. Gotta get one foot. Here we go. And let go to animals. Yeah, I do too, sweetie. They're super cute. I like how it's like they have little blotches of colors on them, although it's not colored in all the way. It's not like your socks are or your underwear. Now you talk. Peekaboo. <laughs> There's one arm. Whoa. Don't fall over, sweetie. Be careful. Okay. There's one bow. Now let's do the other. I think I'll put it in part of her hair. So this top is a little big, but that's all right. It's not like it's super big. In here is Miss Julie. Oh wait, I forgot her bracelet. I think I'll do it on that hand. Tindo, Tindo, I went to Tindo. Yeah, you sure do, sweetie. There we go. Just the little belts. All right, sweetie, now I just need to go and finish the rest of your lunch, okay? Okay, can I help you make the bottle? Sure. All right, to the kitchen. <laughs> All right, so here's what Julie wanted for her lunch. She wanted some of these owl crackers and I'm pretty sure that they're just cheese flavored. And then we have this go-go um, -go squeeze and this flavor is apple peach. I might just try some because it looks really yummy. That's really good. You'll love this, Julie. Put it in this one. I'll only do it just a little bit and then she can have the rest later for a little snack. I'll put that in the freezer. Correction, my fridge. 
So she has that food, and now we just need to do her bottle. All right, Julie, honey, do you want milk or water? Juice. Sweetie, I've said this more than once. You can only have juice in the morning, or if you don't want to have juice in the morning and you want to have it at lunch or dinner, you have to have milk or water at breakfast. Okay, sweetie? So milk or water? Um, water. Okay, sweetie, I just got to pour it in. No! Why no? That's so you can have it. I want to spin, spin. What do you mean you want to spin? I want to spin Brenda. Oh, all right. I see, sweetie. That works. That should be good. Do you want a little more, sweetie? No, thanks. I don't okay. wait. I press buttons? Sure, sweetie. I'll set the seconds and then you can press start, okay? Okay. Should we go all right, sweetie? What you now press dot? Yep. Hee <laughs> hee hee, I love this thing, I love this thing. All done. Yes, it is done, sweetie. And you did a great job. Now you just need to pour it in. Okay. That's perfect. It's not all the way full and it's not too full. Okay, now it's time to head to the table, sweetie. Mmm, I'm hungry. Here, I'll help you down, sweetie. Come here. Mommy will hold your hand. Let's go. Mama, help me scoop. All right, I can give you a few bites, and I'll help you scoop some of your food up. Then you can give yourself a few bites, okay? Okay. Should mommy go first? Yes. All right, I'll need your spoon. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm, nom, 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 nom. It's good. Yes, I know it's good. You have this for lots of your lunches. Isn't it yummy, honey? Yeah. Good job, sweetie. That was a big bite. Mama, need the sounds like airplane. All right, you want me to do that? Here comes the puppy. Arf, 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 arf. <laughs> I'll get this as your next one with some more food. Mmm. Sweetie, I need to wipe your mouth. You're getting it all over the place. You must really love it. <laughs> You're silly, sweetie. You really like this stuff, don't you? Mmm. -hmm. Right, sweetie, last bite, and then you can have your um, little crackers on your own. Okay. Mmm. There, you're all done. Now you can have your crackers. Okay. There we go, sweetie. Hi, Dusty. Right, you want a drink? Here you go. Wow, you must really be thirsty. Sweetie, once you're done your crackers, do you want to do the pages before where you draw the picture on top and Mommy draws the story on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, I love doing that. All right, finish up your crackers. Aren't they good, sweetie? Whoa, you almost ate the whole owl. Mmm, it looks like she really loves them. So here's the paper that we use. So at the bottom, I draw a story and then she gets to draw the picture and color it. So I basically just write the words for her and she gets to have the extra fun and use all these different colors. She loves doing this. So this is a really fun activity for us. Some water, please? Sure, sweetie. Well, it looks like we're gonna be doing some drawing this afternoon. Bye, see you next time. Thanks for watching. To join all the fun up in our tree talk, please subscribe to Little Monkey Media's channel. Don't forget, if you like our video, please share it and click like. We go bananas for monkey.